Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today I'm canning parsnips. I don't have a lot, but um, I, I want to have a, at least a couple of quarts. Whipped parsnips makes a nice substitute for mashed potatoes. Right? So, this is what I got out of the garden. Believe it or not, these have been rinsed five times. Now they're going to be scrubbed and the ends cut off and put in the bowl before I can peel them. Okay? You can't peel them when they're this dirty or it's going to get stuck to the clean flesh and you won't be able to scrub it off. Here's our blanching water, and in goes our parsnips. Oh, I love that smell. And we're going to blanch these for three minutes. Okay, so I thought I might get three quarts. So these are uh, 750 ml. Um, these are the Classico spaghetti jars. And that means they're not a pint, they're not a quart, but they're a pint and a half. Okay, so I'm hoping to get four jars. Here's our blanched parsnips, our salt, our lids in hot, hot water, washed, rinsed, and in hot, hot water, a kettle of just boiled water, our always, always, our debubbler, and our funnel. Let's get started. Here is my four jars canner, and it has the recommended amount of water in the bottom. Now, I'm only putting four semi-small jars in here, so I've added an extra liter of water to help displace the air quicker. And I have a shot of white vinegar in there to keep my jars from clouding. But you know what? It's going to make a nice change um, from potatoes one night. A half a teaspoon of salt, hot water, to one inch from the top. Oops. I'll repeat the process for you since you weren't being seen, very, you couldn't see very well. Always, always, always debubble. Now people ask me, um, why not use the blanching water? Always, always wipe your rims because uh, there's a reason you blanch and that's to set the starch. If you put the starch or whatever it is back in the jar, you may not get a nice, um, clear, lovely product like that and into the canner that goes. Let's just see how many we get. You might as well stay with me. It's only a couple of jars. Tweedle, 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 dee. Half a teaspoon of salt. Hot water from the kettle. I can use the kettle when it's a small batch like this. Always, always, to bubble, to bubble, to bubble. Why to bubble? Because when you put these jars and close the in the canner and close the lid and bring it up to pressure, it pushes the air out of the jar. Any air in the jar. If there's air at the bottom of your jar and you haven't debubbled properly, it will push it out so fast that you will lose liquid. It's called siphoning. So please always, always debubble. Oh, 
Alrighty. Two, two jars of parsnips. Now I'm gonna see if I can't get enough in these two jars. I might have had, should have used pints, eh? Let's see. Doesn't matter if there's an extra bit of water. Oh, that's not too bad. A little bit in here. I think we're going to be just fine. Look at that. That's pretty good for eyeballing it. Not bad at all. Okay. So, in goes the salt in each one. In goes the water. Glug, 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 glug. I like this nice big kettle. It's uh, not bad for small batches like this. You know the drill. Always, always. De bubble. De bubble. Take a little bit of water off of here. We want everything to be one inch from the top. Always, always. Oh, you're a largemouth. Oops. I'll have to get another lid for this one for this one. Wash the lid. Hot water. We've debubbled. Always wipe the rim. Fresh lid. Fresh ring. Thank you, four jars, for sending me the 200 lids for my 15th anniversary on YouTube. That was greatly appreciated. Okay, so we have, I'm sorry for the close quarters. My, I, I'm using a bigger tripod, and it's really hard to get the angles that I want. Now, uh, I've cleaned my lid, and sometimes, because of the... Because of the iron in my water, I get a lot of rust. I clean my spout with a pumice stone, okay? Just to make sure I get the right amount. Now, our lid is locked on. As soon as we are spouting a steady stream of steam, that means none coming from here, only coming from here, um, we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. You must let your canner vent for 10 minutes. If you don't let it vent, the air will not properly be pushed out of the canner, creating the correct vacuum pressure. So please, 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 always follow manufacturer's instructions. Vent your canner for 10 minutes. Now what you're about to see is the steam stops venting from this handle and only vents from here, and then that will be a steady stream. Don't count it if it's doing it here. Can you even see what I'm talking about? Yeah, see? It stopped pushing through the handle. And this is now a steady stream of steam. We're gonna set our timer for 10 minutes. Okay, our timer has gone off. And I'm going to put oops, the 10 pound weight on the, on the steam spout. Now listen. If you live a thousand feet or more above sea level, whoops, please check your manufacturer's directions, your pressure gauge weights, and uh, times may differ, okay? So as soon as that gives us this first jig vigorous jiggle and, and this comes up to um, 10 pounds pressure, we'll start timing. It'll be 30 minutes for pints. 35 minutes for quarts. I'm doing pint and a half, so I'm going to time them as quarts. Okay, we're about to get our first vigorous rocking motion, and my gauge is 
just hitting 10 pounds pressure, which means that should joggle in three, two, one. There it goes. Now, we're gonna set our timer for 35 minutes. Okay, my timer has gone off. So I have shut my canner off and we're gonna let it cool naturally. You know the rules. Don't open it too soon. Don't, de don't depressurize by, by jiggling, jiggling or lifting the weight. And for God's sakes, please don't open this until you can rest your hands comfortably on the sides without discomfort, okay? There is a reason these rules are in place. You open it too soon, you depressurize too soon, again, water's going to siphon out of your jars and compromise your product. All right, we'll see you when these come out of the and There pan. it is. Four jars of winter comfort. Mashed parsnips coming your way. It'll make a nice change from potatoes. This is the Mrs. Volfi from our half acre homestead saying it may not be much, but every little bit counts. Take care, God bless. Mm -hmm.